Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I'm gonna to blow your mind. <laughs> How do you download a route in GPX format, upload it to your Garmin inReach device and use it when you're traveling off grid? Before we get there, let's talk about a couple of things. Adventure is necessary. You know it, hopefully next year you're gonna have more adventure. And if you're traveling off the grid, which you often will, you need to have a two-way communications device. We talk about communications a lot in the Overland lifestyle because it is your partner in adventure and it makes sure that you have a fallback insurance policy. Even if you're way off the grid, somebody can know where you're at and send help if you should need it. Let's cover the basics. This is not a sponsored video, all right? So we're talking about the one device because there are very few devices that do what this does. And the key difference is two-way satellite communications anywhere in the world with no blackout areas. Now let's touch base on the difference just a little bit. And again, it is the two-way communication. There are other things out there like the spot or other devices, but they send a signal one way. And I can tell you, knowing that I can receive a message back when I send one out is absolutely key. Your cell phone too, in terms of text messaging, it doesn't have coverage everywhere, as you guys know. This, again, no blackout areas anywhere. They're not inexpensive. This device you'll see is, is a few hundred dollars, but if you are traveling off grid, I say that this is one of the things you really want to get as a part of your kit. Okay, now, this device, again, because it connects to a satellite, it is the Iridium satellite network. No matter where you travel, it always has a connection. And every time you text and every time you send a message, your location is sent with that message. And because you're connected 100% of the time, you can navigate with this device no matter where you are. So if you want to download a route, on, from your computer and then you want to upload it to this device and then follow it when you're off the grid. That's how you do it. Now, it seems like it should be straightforward. How do I get a route on this device? But it's not and that is the purpose of this video. So thanks for watching. Let's dive right in. I'm going to show you how to get a route on this device and then navigate when you are off the grid. Let's jump right in. Before we jump on the computer, let's take a look at the device real quick. It's pretty straightforward. It's got a main display and then these buttons are for navigation. We'll go ahead and turn this on. And basically the check mark means yes or confirm. And this is no, it also goes backwards in the menu system. So you can say, yes, I wanna go into that menu item. You navigate and then you can say, go back uh, to go back. And then this is SOS button. It's a pretty rugged design. This will stay uh, waterproof in one meter of water up to 30 minutes. Okay, let's connect it to the computer and get a route on the device. All right, now I've connected the Garmin inReach to my computer. So it's connected with the USB cable. I've also set up my Garmin inReach account and logged onto the website. That's all required. You also want to connect your Garmin inReach to your Bluetooth device. Garmin sends you instructions, so we're not going to go over that tonight. We're going to jump right in. What you see right here is the Garmin website, which has your account, all your saved routes, and things of that nature. So the first thing you need to do is get an external GPX file or KML file. Those are routes that you'll be able to follow once you download them and they're on your Garmin, whether you're on or off the grid. So how do you do that? We're going to go over two ways to do that. The first is just by going to a website over and overlandbound.com. You can go to a section on our website called Overland Bound Routes Downloadable and you can download the KML, GPX files, whatever you need. Now, the second way is uh, more flexible. You can create your own route. And what I like to do is go to an application I really like, which is Google Earth Pro. We are going to create a route. So let's jump on over to one of my favorite locations. This is Moab, Utah. We're gonna look out here on these roads and we're gonna say, you know what? This looks good to me. Let's create a path. You create a path 
with this tool up here. And then let's go ahead and name that path. We're gonna call it my test Moab path. Just to save it, we know what it's gonna be. Don't close the dialog box or it'll just save the path and you'll have to start all over. And then we plot some points. So the more accurate your points, the more accurate your route is gonna be once it is on your Garmin device. So spend as much time here as you want to. When you place your points in Google Earth, it also takes over the elevation data. So it's highly accurate. And once you're done with the path, now I'm gonna make it impossible. Look at, we're gonna climb all over these mountains. <laughs> and that is the off-grid route that we want to take. Now, in order to follow this route, we need to save it, import it into the Garmin. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> I have a sore throat, so bear with, <laughs> bear with me. All right, so now we are going to right click. We are going to save the place as uh, mytestmoabpath.kmz. I just saved it onto my desktop, and now we are going to open up that Garmin website again. Boom. And there's this little button over here called import. We're going to say import a KMZ and we're going to import it as a route. Importing as a route cuts out a bunch of steps. You don't have to convert the file. It'll automatically sync with your account and your Garmin inReach device. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to import it as a route. I'm going to add it to a new collection. We're going to call that new collection Moab. And say next it's asking us to drag the file over so we will get rid of google earth and background here's my test moab path boom we're going to say import now it is imported and we're going to close this window now over under routes we'll click on that we'll say my test moab path there it is, there's that crazy route. But now it's uploaded into our uh, Garmin InReach account. You can use a desktop app to pull it into the, the Garmin device, but you don't need to do that. The When, when you get a Garmin InReach, you also get access to the EarthMate app. It Bluetooth links to your Garmin device and is synchronized with the Garmin website. So now, I've got the EarthMate app and I'm going to go ahead and force a sync and I do that by going into options, going to account and sync. I'm going to sync it. It's saying, okay, I'm synchronizing. Now we're going to look at the routes and you see it says my test Moab path. Boom, right there. You open it up and you can see the path that we created. So it's as easy as that. It's already synchronized now. If I go to my Garmin device and I open up the route on the device and boom, there it is. Bam, you probably can't see that. But now it's on my device and when I navigate to that location, I can now follow the path and it's that simple. Okay, I said that simple. I went through it quickly. You're probably going to have to rewind to actually do the steps, but you can do it. And now when you go off the grid, you'll be able to follow no matter whether you have GPS signal or not, cell phone coverage or not. You got your Garmin device. You're connected via satellite. You'll be able to track along the path that you created. All right. I hope that was useful, you guys. If you have any questions, write them down in the comments. There's a few other things to cover. One, this little button right here is an SOS button. And if you're in an emergency and you need evacuation, you can hit that SOS button and help will be on the way no matter where you are. You only use that in an emergency because if need be, they will be sending helicopters. So it's a great lifeline to have. That's an awesome option with the inReach. The other thing is I always get asked, hey, do you need a subscription? The answer is yes, you do. Here's the good thing about that. You can turn it off and on. And that's what we do before we go out and hit the trail off grid in the Overland Bound Rig. We charge this up fully. We activate our account and then we purchase one month and that's all you need to do. All right, you guys. Hey, thanks again for tuning in. I hope that this was useful. 
You can subscribe, you can hit the bell if you want to know when there's future videos. But what we really want you to do is become an Overland Bound member. You can find out more about that over on our website. It's not expensive and it gives you access to a worldwide community of Overlanders who are there to help you. Also, a resource map, trips, locations, things to go and do, and the off-grid Overland trip planner called Rally Point. Go and check it out. Hey, I'll see you next time. Until next time, outfit and explore.